Okay, I'm live. I am live. This is Minister Gloria Drummond. And Daily Encourager. Well, hello, Sister Faye. Hi. Hi. Um, this is going to be like a twofer. Like a twofer. Blessings, blessings. Okay. Um, all right. <clears throat> I'm going to touch just a little bit on uh, Yvette's broadcast uh, that she did. I'm not sure when she did it. I forgot to check the date when, when she did it. About us representing ourselves in a modest way. Women and men. Women and men. And this came up a few years ago on Periscope. Because a sister in Christ earlier was it okay anyway because a sister in Christ was not dressed appropriate and she yes <clears throat> and uh, she was called out about it and then I mentioned something about it and she got very angry she got very very angry now we've got all past all that but what Yvette said was was still true because it does grieve the Holy Spirit. That's why I wear this blouse here a lot because it covers everything up. It doesn't show. And I also aim the camera upwards a little bit. I don't want to cause anybody to stumble. And something else. Um, <clears throat> there was a picture I put on, fa on uh, Facebook of me a few years ago. I had a pair, that's back when I was thinner, I had a pair of jeans on and I had my blouse tucked in and I was wearing my belt that had, had the crosses on it. And uh, somebody commented on there and I know she didn't mean anything bad by it. I mean, cause she, she dearly, she thinks a lot of me. She said, I looked like a motorcycle chick, you know, like a biker chick. And I, and oh my heavens, I, I didn't even, I didn't dress that way to draw attention to myself. I just thought it looked good with the blouse and, and the blue jeans tucked in. I had my blouse kind of pulled out over my, kind of over my belt a little bit. I was basically wanting to show off my pretty, my pretty belt that had the crosses on and I've still got it. I've still got it. It's hanging in the closet. I don't wear it too much because it kind of digs in my stomach. but. Um, said a lot, I looked like a, a biker, basically a biker chick, and you know what a, you know what I mean by a biker chick. And I said, oh my heavens! I said I, I would never want to look like a motorcycle woman, you know, which is a biker chick, you know. <clears throat> and uh, I know biker women, yeah, yeah. And that wasn't my intention when I posted that picture a few years ago. I was out at the mall. And I thought, well, I just got my hair done. I just got my hair done, and I wanted to have a picture taken of me. And that never even crossed my mind. I would never, never intentionally cause a man, well, or a, well, another woman, to stumble. To stumble. I would never, ever do that intentionally. You know, I mean, but I wanted to touch on that. And... uh but yeah, we have to, we are ambassadors for Jesus. And we have to act as such. Yes, I wear lipstick. Once in a great while, I'll put a little bit of eyeshadow on. I thought you looked nice. Oh, thank you. But once in a while, I put just a little bit of eyeshadow on. I like to have a little bit of color once in a while. Not looking like a Jezebel or nothing like that. Not overdoing it on the makeup, which I did a couple times and then... I thought, uh, I put too much, I put way too much on. So we have to be careful. Again, like Yvette said, we have to be careful. We don't want to look like a Jezebel or, you know, that's going to cause a man or, or a woman to stumble. Another woman, you know what I mean, to stumble. And, but I wanted to, to, to kind of back her up. And she was reading out of Romans chapter 8, uh, about that there's there's now no condemnation and like she said people don't what read the rest of it the second stanza the next verse they, they don't they don't read it all you know and okay 
Now, then I want to talk about um, something else, too. I want to talk about something else. Now, sometimes I tend to come in a little bit pixelated on Twitter, but from I do these on Twitter because uh, I think this is on Twitter <laughs> because um, it goes to my camera roll and I can upload it to my my new YouTube channel if it's not over 15 or 16 minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, I do have some good news. I have some good news that that I found out, and the Holy Spirit hit me. And I broke down in tears earlier. Okay. We were all brought up to believe that you don't pray to the dead. Hold on. But you don't pray to, you cannot pray for dead people. That's not true. We can pray for the souls of our loved ones and people. We can pray, pray for their souls. We can. And I've got. Let's see. I should have had it ready, but you know me. You know how I am. I don't. I'm never prepared, and I should. I should be. Okay. But the Holy the Holy Spirit hit me, and I just I just broke out in tears when I was watching watching that. Now this is the KJV version. I am going to get. Hold on. I am going to get the Orthodox Study Bible because it's got everything in it. Everything in it. Okay. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1. i got to find it. 2 Timothy chapter 1. <clears throat> but I mean, I broke, I broke out in tears. The Holy Spirit hit me. Because I know those... There's those of us that have been concerned about if some of our family members made it to heaven. We don't, oops, we don't, we don't pray them into heaven, no. It's up to God. It's up to God who he chooses to have mercy on. i got to find it. Oh, I might have went too far. I'm sorry. Hang tight. Hang tight. Peter, James, Hebrews. Hang on. Second Timothy. Well, I've read a lot of a lot of this. Chapter one. <laughs> okay. Verses fifteen through eighteen. A lot of us have missed this. <clears throat> okay, help. Okay. All right. Okay, dokie. Verses fifteen through what I say. Eighteen. Tim Second Timothy. Chapter 1, verses 15 through 18. <clears throat> oh, I'm in chapter 2. Chapter 1. I'm sorry. Of course, I like to read a little bit up to read down. Okay, I'm going to start with chapter thir uh, verse 13. Now, this is the KJV. Like I said, it's worded differently in proper context in the Orthodox Study Bible. Okay. Okay, 13. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in, in G, Christ Jesus. That's in reference to Romans chapter 2, verse 20 and 1 Timothy uh, chapter 1, verse 10 and 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verse 2. Okay. Okay. 
14. That good thing which was committed unto thee keep by the Holy Ghost which dwelleth, dwelleth in us. And I hate to have my head down. That this knowest that all they which... Now then, 15. This thou knowest that all they which are in Asia be turned away from me of whom are Pegilius and Hermogenes. Hang on. This is not what I wanted to read. Hang on a minute. Second Timothy. All right. Second Timothy. Want to make sure I'm in the right one. I thought that don't that don't make no sense. Okay, 15 through... Okay. I'm going to just read... I'm just going to read this. I'm going to start out with... Verse 15, which is a good one. Which is a good one. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a worksman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We have to study ourselves to be approved unto God. Yes. <clears throat> okay. 15. That was verse 15. 16. But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. That's in reference to 1 Timothy 4, 7. 17. And thou word will eat, and their word will eat as doth a canker of worm is... Hymenaeus and Philotheus. 18. Who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrow the faith of some? Nineteen. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. That's why we need we need the we need the Orthodox Study Bible. I'm serious. We need the Orthodox Study Bible because it has everything in there. Okay, it's talking about where um, Timothy was praying praying for the departed, for their souls, for their souls, and it, it has it in, in the correct in the correct context let's see yeah because the King James Version has a lot taken out uh, there's a lot of stuff taken out uh, some of the things have been reworded some words are missing to make a person you know make a person believe something different and I've, I've always gone by the KJV, always. I mean, so. But anyway, he was talking about praying for the departed. Praying for their souls. You know, and all we can do is, is just say, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. And like I said, I, I just broke out in tears because the Holy Spirit fell on me and I broke out in tears. Because I, my mom and I was always concerned about my grandma, my maternal grandmother. Because, I mean, she had went to church. This was in my part of my testimonies, my testimony. Because when she was younger, she went to church. She loved the Lord. She read her Bible. But she liked to go out on the weekends. She liked to go out on the weekends. And my mom was always concerned after she passed, if she made it into heaven. And there we go. That's how we can we can pray for their souls, for God to have mercy on them. If they loved the Lord and they still had some sin in their lives and they were taken, that we can still pray for them. And like I said, the Holy Spirit hit me and I just broke out into tears. We can pray for the for our departed loved ones. We can pray for their souls. 
the body is dead, right? These these things is just the shell that holds our spirit. But the soul lives on. The soul lives. The soul lives. The soul doesn't die. So we can pray for our departed loved ones. We can pray. Like I said again, it hit me and I just it just broke out in tears. I broke out in tears. So that is the good news. Those of us that have lost loved ones or lost dear friends that we were concerned, oh my, I wonder if they'll make it to heaven. I wonder if they will make it. God has the final say. And we can pray for their souls. And when that... Sorry, but I've never heard of that, so I can't agree with you. Well, that's okay. It's okay. But wouldn't it make sense, though? Wouldn't it make sense if the soul lives lives if the soul lives couldn't hurt it couldn't hurt to pray for them it couldn't hurt to pray for them but anyway um, I wanted to bring that up I wanted to bring up the thing about uh how we should dress, men and women, how we should dress. And I know you guys see me with this on all the time. Well, when I go live, I wear this because it comes way up. It comes way up. But I'm not trying to push any religion on anybody, no. I'm just saying that the Orthodox Bible, study Bible, has everything in it that was taken out of the King James. Some things were added to it, taken away from it. And if Martin Luther had had his way about it, Revelation would have been taken out, James would have been taken out, Hebrews and some others would have been taken out of the Bible. Martin Luther, yes, about Martin Luther, would have been taken out. So, I myself, I'm going to get the Orthodox Study Bible because it has everything in it that we need to, we need to read. But we should read. You know, and like I said, I'm not, I'm not pushing any religion or nothing else. And it ain't about a religion anyway. I'm still the same me. I'm still the same me. I'm still the same me. Blood bought, spirit filled woman of God. I want everything there is to know about, the, you know, the, the the truth. You know. All I'm saying is that when I, I heard that, and it hit me, Sister Faye, it hit me, and I just I started crying. So, anyway, I love you. I love you very, very much. And like I said, I'm not on here trying to convince anybody of anything other than the King James Version of the Bible is not, not the right version to read. And a lot of others. The NIV is another bad version. Another bad version. You know. The New King James Version is a good version, yes. And I do have the New King James, although I don't read. I haven't been reading out of it. I always read out of the King James. So, but anyway, I wanted to get on here to kind of follow, do a follow-up on what Yvette said about how women and men should dress. And that was a, that was a great broadcast that she did. And women that profess to be a Christian, Bible-believing, spirit-filled women of God are not supposed to dress where you can, where you show low cleavage, you know, 
or dresses that slid up the leg, you know, to be sexy looking. We're not supposed to be like that. We're not supposed to look like that. That's being in the world. Just like that picture of me on Facebook. That wasn't my intentions of why that I, I had jeans on and, and had that burgundy colored uh, shirt on. It wasn't way down. But yet I was I told that I looked like a biker chick. What? A biker chick? You know. Because my I have never ever wore tight jeans. Never. A lot of people are not taught. I know. But I've never ever worn tight jeans. Never. I wear them where they're comfortable and they're loose. But I've never ever worn skin tight jeans or form-fitting blouses or not meaning to not meaning to form-fitting blouses you know I, I just I never did even back when I was in the world I didn't wear stuff that I shouldn't have wore I, I mean that's just the way I was it's just the way I was you know <laughs> so I'm going to do the Our Father and go ahead and close I don't know how long I've been on here I don't know because if it's over 15 minutes on my new channel, I don't know if I'll be able to upload it or not, but anyway, I'm going to do the Our Father. It's 25 minutes till 7, and this is July the 25th of 2022. Okay. I love you, Sister Faye. I love you. I love you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, they all said, amen in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So you all have a blessed day. To those that will watch the replay, have a blessed day. Be blessed and not stressed. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Look not to the right or to the left. Focus straight ahead on Jesus. And again, be blessed and not stressed. So I love you, Sister Faye, again. And, I, and I, to all the replay viewers. And thank you for the pretty green hearts. Hearts for Jesus. Yay, hearts for Jesus. So until my next broadcast. So, um... I hope this isn't pixelated or sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. So, but it'll be okay I'll, if, when I upload it, it'll be all right. So, okay, to my next broadcast. So, to those of you that haven't watched Yvette Donahue, take care. I will, and you take care. Watch Yvette Donahue. Watch uh, Daily Encourage Your Sister Faye. Watch her. She, she's a dynamic woman, too, a woman of, woman of God. Watch her too. So, alrighty, you guys. Talk to you later. Love you. Kisses and hugs. Kisses and hugs. Okay, later.